Deadly weapons falling out of the hands of police officers and into the hands of criminals. And tonight we're talking to the Duval County School District after high powered rifles were taken from unlocked school police vehicles. Stephen Dial spoke to the superintendent about who is responsible and just how this is being dealt with. Stephen. Shannon, Dr. Vitti says that he's not happy and he's concerned knowing that two of his officers rifles are now in the hands of criminals. He says an internal investigation has started. If certain conclusions appear as they are now after the investigation, then certainly um, disciplinary action will be taken. Duval County Superintendent Nikolai Vitti is talking about recent thefts involving two of his school police officers. Not just any theft, but two AR-15 rifles like the one you see here and ammo being stolen from their unlocked police cars. An AR-15 is a high-powered military-style semi-automatic rifle. Vitti says he will wait until their investigation concludes before taking action. Why was it unlocked? You'd have to go through a series of questions before you come to, I wouldn't say conclusions, but before you arrive to a point where you're ready to make um, accountability decisions regarding uh, reprimand. Investigators say last Friday in a north side neighborhood, a marked Duval County School Police officer's car was broken into while sitting in his driveway. They say the car was unlocked and thieves stole an AR-15 and ammunition. Last month, it happened again on the west side. In that case, the investigators say the vehicle was unmarked but also unlocked. Is this a pattern throughout Jacksonville? Is it a pattern throughout Florida nationally um, to target um, officer vehicles? And, and at this point, it seems as if it is. VD says they are also working on changing policy when it comes to weapons. We're looking at um, some practices and strategies that we can implement to make sure that those weapons are secured or not in the vehicles at all. And those are some procedural system processes um, um, analyses that we're doing right now. In the incident that happened last month, JSO says they are looking for at least two young male suspects. In the most recent incident that happened last Friday, JSO says there could be up to three suspects. If you have any information, you're urged to call law enforcement. We're live downtown. Stephen Dial, First Coast News, NBC 12, ABC 25.